What's up, everybody? So today, uh, I'm really excited. Just got a epic card added to the collection. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Uh, by the way, I'm filming this the day before Christmas Eve, so uh, pretty awesome. Um, so I'm gonna basically going to do my top 25 non-baseball cards. I've been really adding to this collection over the last couple of years. And uh, I have a new, in, in terms of non-baseball, a new number two card uh, behind the Tom Brady. So uh, it'll be fun to show you guys. I'm going to go through this top 25 real quick So because ba basically the purpose of this is to show my my new card. But I figured it'd be fun to kind of look back at some of my top 25 non-baseball. You can see some cards here that didn't quite make the list. So at number 25, I got this uh, Jerry Rice, 86 tops and a PSA 8. Really like this card. I'm surprised that uh, this card value has gone down over the last uh, couple of months. You know, greatest wide receiver of all time. I uh, actually kind of like this set uh, for some reason. I know some people might think it's kind of ugly, <laughs> but I really like it. Uh, number 24 is the 2014 Panini Lionel Messi in a PSA 10. Uh, a goat uh, in, the, in the soccer world. At number 23 is the 96 Tops Kobe Bryant in a PSA 9 that I picked up at the National in Chicago um, this year. I almost said last year. It feels like last year at this point. It feels like a long time ago. But anyway, that's at 23. Uh, at number 22 is the Tiger Woods Upper Deck Golf in a PSA 10. I've got four of these. Uh, this is just one of them. I figured I'd just grab one. Didn't, no reason to show you all four. Uh, at number 21 is the 1990 Fleer Michael Jordan that at one point I had a, a card that you can get for 50 bucks had gone all the way up to a thousand dollars at one point back in February uh, and has come down a lot. But one of my favorite shots of Michael Jordan, uh, look, look at that. Uh, I know this is like, you know, sort of from that, you know, junk wax era, even for basketball, but I uh, just really love this card. I had this card growing up and it was just an awful condition. And uh, just wanted to pick up a PSA 10. All right. Um, at number 20 uh, is this Lamar Jackson red yellow and a PSA 10. Um, he's been, I think he was out last week. Uh, so he's kind of had a, a weird year. Uh, looks like the Ravens will probably make the playoffs, but we'll see. But hopefully he recovers and has a good playoff if they make the playoffs. Uh, at number 19, is this really cool Joe Montana 81 tops? I picked this up at a card show, I think, last early last year. Uh, it was ungraded and uh, sent it off to PSA, and it came back as an eight. Um, at number 18 is <laughs> this C3PO, the 1977 Star Wars C3PO Anthony Daniels in a PSA eight. Uh, just love this, just like the fact that this error card exists is just blows my mind. Uh, at number 17 is this Tim Duncan, the 97 Tops. This is the Chrome, even though the label says Tops. It's a Tops Chrome, obviously, as you can see there. In a PSA 10, uh, Tops Chrome, Tim Duncan. Uh, next up, I think at number 16, uh, we are, at, yeah, 16, uh, 2005 Tops Aaron Rodgers in a PSA 10. A lot of talks about him being MVP this year uh, with the Packers. So we'll see how that works out and see how he does in the playoffs. All right, at number 15 uh, is this 1976 Tops Walter Payton in a PSA 8. So, uh, you know, I was looking back at my, you know, non-baseball card collection, and to have this at number 15, I was like, wow, that's pretty good. You know, like I've really added to my non-baseball. Like if I have this at 15, I think this is a, a really awesome card. Uh, I, I would have figured this would be a top 10 card, but uh, I have this at number 15. Number 14, a card I picked up earlier this year, is a really cool 1931 Walt Disney uh, and Mickey Mouse. Um, it's considered to be like the Walt Disney Mickey Mouse rookie card. Um, I'm a big fan of, uh, you know, my, my, all my kids are into like Disney stuff. We've been to Disney many times. So I, I thought it was a, a really neat card to pick up. Uh, so uh, have this and it's and from 1931. And look at the condition of this for 1931. By the way, here's the back. So cool. So uh, 1931 Walt Disney. Uh, at number 13 is this uh, Wayne Gretzky, 1979 Wayne Gretzky in the PSA 6. This would probably be, you know, top two or three uh, a year or two ago, but now it's at uh, number 13. So you can see I've clearly added to this collection. Um, obviously the goat of uh, hockey. 
At number 12, <laughs> this is a card I picked up earlier this year, the 77 Star Wars Luke Skywalker Wonder Bread card in a PSA 10. And um, the uh, 77 Tops, you know, Luke Skywalker rookie card uh, was just going nuts. It was like becoming impossible to buy. It still is uh, complete. So I went after this card instead, the Wonder Bread card, which is from the same year. Uh, so really cool card, and uh, you know, as a Star Wars fan, uh, was really happy to pick that one up. At number eleven, one of the awesomest cards of all time, the Larry Bird uh, Magic Johnson rookie with Julius Irvin on there, uh, 1980 tops uh, in a PSA seven. Great looking card there. And then here is the back of that card. Okay, number ten. On the list, uh, card again, I think I picked up earlier this year. I'd have to look back. I, I'm pretty sure I picked it up this year. The Lou Alcindor 1969 Tops. You can see it's clearly bigger than all the other cards. Uh, but there you have it the 1969 Tops Lou Alcindor, Kareem Abdul Jabbar rookie. Uh, at number nine is the 1977 Star Wars, the card I was just talking about. Um, you, good luck getting this in a PSA 10 now, but I, I was able to pick it up in a PSA 8 before it really took off uh, earlier this year, uh, PSA 8. And then I also picked up uh, this 1977 Star Wars. So this pack could have this card in it. Uh, so I picked up both these cards. Um, next up we have, I think we are at number 8, the 1958 Pele, uh, this is a card that I pitched, picked up at the end of last year that I arrived like early January, so I'm counting it towards 2021, but the Pele 58 Gazeta Esportiva <laughs> Pele in a PSA 1. Uh, really cool card. You can see there's uh, some surface issues there, which is why it is a PSA 1. And look at that back uh, from 1958. Uh, next up at number 7 is the Michael Jordan uh, promo, uh, the Nike card. This is so cool. You know, it's the combination of Nike shoes and sports cards and Michael Jordan. 1985, it's a year before the 86 Fleer card came out. So uh, really happy to add to add this to my collection last year. <laughs> it's such a great shot of Michael Jordan in Chicago uh, dunking uh, the basketball, um, you know, I guess by himself. <laughs> Uh, at number six is the 2003 Tops LeBron James in a PSA 10. Uh, I think earlier this year, this probably would have been close to number one at one point, um, but uh, has come down a lot. Uh, so uh, there it is at uh, number six. At number five is the 82 Hulk Hogan. I've been wanting to pick up the Ric Flair uh, and possibly the Andre the Giant at some point, uh, but so far I'm just going to stick with the Hulk Hogan. All-Star Series A uh, in a PSA 6. This is considered to be Hulk Hogan's rookie card and is highly sorta, sought after if you're a WWE fan, which I used to be growing up. Not so much anymore, but I was definitely a big fan of Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man, you know, growing up. Um, I believe I'm at number four is the 86 Panini Super Sport Italian Mike Tyson rookie in a PSA 8. So this is a like a sticker card uh, from uh, 1986, and was uh, uh, you can see here it was uh, it's got all Italian language on the back. So it was distributed in Italy. So this is the Italian version. There was another one uh, created in the UK in 1987, uh, the exact same sticker card. Uh, but I wanted to get the 86 because it's you know a year before. And uh, as a fellow Paisan, I feel I had to get the 86 version. Uh, number three, we have the 86 Fleer Jordan. Of course, everyone has to have an 86 Jordan in their collection. Really nice looking for the for a PSA 6. At number one, I'm, I'm going to show the number one card before I get to number two, because I've shown this card many times on my channel. The 2000 Bowman Chrome Tom Brady in a PSA 10. Uh, still going to be number one. It's going to be number one probably for a very long time, if not forever. Uh, Brady, along with Rodgers, uh, definitely in line to win, possibly win an MVP this year. All right, so that brings me to number two on the list of my non-baseball cards, uh, my brand new pickup, and here it is. Uh, what a beauty. The 1960 Hemet's Journal Cassius Clay hand cut in a PSA 3. So first off, 
I have no idea how this is a PSA three. Um, I thought, you know, when it was one of those cards that when I purchased it, you know, online, you look at the, the pictures, um, and you know, I figured when I got it in hand, it would be a little bit more obvious as to why it's a PSA three. Um, the only thing I'll say is it's definitely a, it's gotta be a surface issue that I'm not, you know, seeing very well. Um, maybe it's this little, you know, I don't know if that little dot there may, who knows. Um, but, um, let me pull the light up, see if that helps. Um, so I, I don't know why it's a PSC three. It's, it's definitely not the corners. It's definitely not the edges. It's definitely not the centering. Uh, although I guess, you know, it's hand cut and I, I guess this, do, this does look like, I guess it goes up a little bit, but I mean, considering it's hand cut, I, I don't know, you know, how much better it can be. Um, this is normal by the way, for it to be cut off. This is just how all the cards were made. Um, I'll show you guys some images. Um, this was, uh, part of like a, um, a page like a, and uh, there were three other, um, athletes on there that, that when you cut it out, um, if you cut it out perfectly, it's going to on the back, it's going to look like that. It's going to cut off that, that J in journal. Uh, but obviously this is Muhammad Ali, uh, before he was Muhammad Ali, he was Cassius Clay. Uh, Muhammad Ali was born in 1942. So this card came out in 1960. So he was 18 years old uh, when this came out. And uh, so again, you know, I was looking at this. Um, there is like some, you know, I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this a uh, little bit of like, uh, you know, what looks like some sort of bubbling, but I noticed the, like, I don't know if you see that here. Um, I, I think that that's actually the PSA case and not the card. Um, so I'm not really sure again, like why it would be only a three, but I ended up getting this for a really good deal, uh, from somebody uh, that was selling it. The seller was in Germany. There was a PSA four that was, uh, uh, on eBay and another one in a three and I ended up getting the the three I, I thought it, the four went for double what I got my card for but I think the fact that it was you know uh, an international seller which is why I got it for such a good price um, people are probably afraid of you know you had to convert it it was like all in euros so you had to convert it and try to figure out you know how much it actually you know would cost you and then of course there's always that fear of you know the getting the shipment from Europe to uh, the Americas and the Americas <laughs> to the United States so um, I don't know I, you know I thought I got a really good deal on this and you know, this card's population is only 231, so only 231 uh, altogether graded by PSA, and I think, you know, something like over a 100 or so that are have a higher population, but you guys know how I am, like, I'm very particular about centering and the aesthetic of the card, and there's many cards that I'll see and I'll be like, mm, not interested because of the, the way the card looks. So if you, if you take the fact that there's only 230 cards out there and then I'm very particular about, you know, the, the, uh, how the card looks, there may be only like 50 or so cards that I, that I'd be willing to, you know, so, um, I was, I had this in mind. I was also looking at the Mickey Mantle Red Heart. Um, so I'm going to have to, uh, maybe push that to next year big fan of the Mickey Mantle Red Heart because there's uh 1954 uh there was no Mickey Mantle Tops card there was a Bowman card but no Tops card so so uh and the Red Heart goes for about half of what the Bowman card goes for so I'm very interested in that card but I'm going to have to put that uh off until next year and uh because I picked this <laughs> awesome card up I'm just so excited to uh, add this to the collection. Um, I also noticed, by the way, that, you know, uh, if you get a card in the PSA Lighthouse holder, uh, you can put your camera over it and it'll pop up the card and it'll, and it actually has a picture of the card and um, it should pull up that card, right? You know, you'll, you'll be able to verify that, th that this is the card. So something to check out if you guys have uh, bought a card, especially if you bought it from, you know, uh, a seller on eBay or, you know, my slabs or whatever, and you want to make sure that it's all, you know, that this is the card. You could take your camera out, point it at this uh, right here, and it, it should pop out. 
the card and you could be able to verify that, you know, you got, you know, the card that you bought. So it's a great way, great uh, idea by PSA to, to offer that service. So anyway, uh, I think that's all I have uh, for today. Let me know what you guys think of this card. Look at that. <laughs> it's so awesome. I was going to pull the Sam Vincent out and uh, put this. Uh, there it is. My latest epic pickup uh, to add to my non-baseball card collection. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, did I did I do good with this purchase? Um, I think it's such an awesome card. And uh, this card was going crazy earlier in the year. And so I'm so happy that, you know, prices have start, started to come down and I could buy some of the cards that... Uh, wouldn't wasn't obviously wouldn't have been able to if prices continued the way they were going in February and March of this year. So uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you later.